Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Danny from Big Boy. And today we're gonna to be discussing two new products that have entered into the Australian market. One of them being the AR630 Plus and the Active 2.3. This is the AR630 Plus, a new product from the AR team, sold here in Australia by Waxit. We recently purchased this one, quoting some real good numbers. So what we wanted to do is just update our numbers don't lie segment. We'll also link our previous one below so you can see how it compares to some of the other products so we don't have to do everything again. Price point at the moment on sale $14.99, standard retail $16.99. We went with the unit only with the standard gun. We didn't get the upgrade. Clearly no need. We're just testing the product itself. I think price point, Italian made, it's definitely going to be more expensive. Big heavy unit. So they've gone full pole now, 1450 RPM. So very quiet, but it has put on a bit of weight uh, because of that. I think it's weighing in at 25 kilos now. Triplex pump, which is what we're also used to. They've had this on their previous model, but they have done some upgrades, okay? So total stop built in, adjustable pressure. They do give you a gauge, which does tell you what they're quoting, but as you'll see throughout our testing, we've got an actual gauge at the outlet, and then we've also got another gauge at the nozzle. So you're gonna be looking at these gauges to see are the numbers that they're quoting correct. We're gonna look at the amperage, so it's under 10 amp. We're gonna look at the flow. We're gonna do it the old style way where we're gonna weigh the actual weight of the water. So that way it's gonna be more accurate. And then we'll let you guys decide are the numbers that they're quoting accurate or not. Okay, and the other unit that we're gonna be talking about and testing is the Active 2.3. Again, have they quoted the right numbers? You'll have to stay tuned to see if they have or they haven't. Just straight out of the box, a couple of strange things with this one. When we received it, so we bought the unit only, it sells for $7.49, so it's pretty expensive for an actual non-commercial grade pressure washer. My opinion in regards to straight out of the box, doesn't come with a quick connect. So guys, if you are purchasing this unit and you wanna use it straight away, it doesn't actually come with that. It does give you an orifice in the box, 1.45 to use with a foam cannon, just so it keeps it under that 10 amp. But the strange one uh, for us, there's a couple of things that they've mentioned here. Plug into a dedicated electrical outlet only. Do not use power stripes. I'm assuming that they're saying don't use it with extension leads. So being that it's a non-commercial unit, I find it a bit strange why that would be. If I've interpreted that incorrectly is uh, from active comment below but uh, to me that rules out a big part of the market so if you're a mobile detailer you won't always have access to a dedicated circuit where you can plug the unit in so it eliminates you using an extension lead not sure why that is as i mentioned it's not commercial shouldn't be drawing a lot of amperage which we will test and i'm sure that their units always do come under 10 amp anyway but another strange one here says that it ships with 4.6 and that's the nozzle orifice size that they recommend using this unit with they say 4.6 to 4.5 it actually came with 4.4 i'm a little bit confused on why they're actually providing nozzles that works against what they've recommended anyway. But we're gonna test it as it is out of the box and let's see if their numbers that they quote is 1100 PSI and we'll put the actual flow, but you'll see what it's doing. We'll let the test prove if their numbers are accurate or not. So the key selling points of the active down, down below are lightweight, semi-commercial style unit, painted and pump head, which is uh, five pistons, will give you a lot more flow than standard uh, three piston pump head. Okay, so let's move on to the test. So guys, before we do the test, I just want to let you know, go and buy their website. They're recommending a 5.0 orifice. That is what this is. Using our gun, as I mentioned, we've got three actual pressure gauges on here. One right at the end, one right on the outlet, and one where they've got it standardly. The numbers that they quote, real-time numbers, are over 10 litres a minute. I think they say 10.2. There's a flow under 10 amps and 1550 working real pressure. Do the test now and see what results we get. So guys, also they have an adjustment knob here. This is, as it came out of the box, I can't turn it anymore. So that's as far as it can go. As you would have seen, the actual real life numbers are 1100 PSI at the nozzle, not the quoted 1550, but we're gonna show you why they're quoting 1550. So we're gonna do it on the outlet side. Remember guys, this is what you're actually using. I'm gonna look at this second gauge, okay? So let's get a close up look now. 
All right, so, so far we've looked at the two gauges, 1100 on one, 1100 on the other. Now we're gonna look at the built-in gauge, which is actually testing the pressure from the pump head. All right, so to conclude the actual PSI testing, this unit here is not a 1550 at the nozzle. Their gauge is showing 1350 to 1400 at the pump head. You don't use from the pump head, you use from the outlet. Okay, so the outlet, it's getting 1100 PSI and at the gun. So it's actual working pressure is 1100 PSI with their recommended 5.0 nozzle. We're gonna move on to the flow test now to see if their numbers stack up on the flow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually weigh the water. As you can see, uh, the bucket itself with my phone on there is at 2.8 kilos. Uh, we're gonna tear that out. Okay, so I'm gonna actually remove my phone, tear it out. It drops everything to zero. So what we've done, we've just eliminated the weight of the bucket. Now we're gonna do a test for one minute. We're gonna pull the trigger, see how much water ends up in that bucket. All right guys, so as you can see, exactly on a minute, 10 liters. They quote 10.2, it's gonna give or take. Now, obviously reaction of uh, me letting go of the gun, but 10 liters, great GPM. Uh, overall combo, probably not as good as they've quoted. We need to test the amperage. So we're just gonna go onto the wall plug-in amp reader and see what this thing outputs. Just did the amp test, safe under 10 amp, uh, no dramas, I think it's sat in the high nines. The last thing, the cable thickness itself, it is pretty thin if you compare it to the actual active, where this isn't even a commercial grade this is, there's a big difference in uh, thickness of cord. So just so you guys are aware of that, um, in Australia it probably doesn't have much of an impact, but overseas it probably would. Okay, so the summary on the AR630 Plus, Waxit teams worked eight months with the Italian manufacturer to get this specifically tuned for detailing. I think great unit, sort of my feedback being in the actual market, very expensive. I do understand it's Italian made, it's always gonna be more expensive than Chinese. Yes, you'll probably have that reliability factor. AR's been in business for you know 50 plus years. Triplex pump, we use that. I think that's a great uh, asset to this unit. Four pole, nothing unfamiliar to us. We've been using that on the Pro from day one. Weight wise, as heavy as ours, so the portability side of things is probably not there like the previous model. But their numbers, their numbers to us when we first saw it didn't really stack up, so we wanted to test it. And as you can see, uh, and the guys can comment below if they think that our numbers aren't right, but 1100 PSI at the nozzle. On their gauge, it's showing just under 1400, so it's not their quoted 1550. Real working pressure and 10 liters per minute on the dot for us. Great numbers, but the trickiest part on building a pressure washer, regardless if it's us or anyone else, is that perfect combination between flow and PSI. That's the magic mix, right? We feel that 1100, still great pressure washer, but for the price, are there things that outperformance when you combine the two together? We think so. So at the end of the day, Great, if you got that extra cash, you wanna spend it on something that's on the top tier. And if you, once you add the gun and all that, it's over six, $1,600, I think it is, unless they've got another sale. These videos are just to educate you guys and just to show you the real life numbers of a pressure washer. All right guys, now we're gonna move on to the Active 2.3. Quickly, you can see how much more compact this is. Uh, obviously in a different category, this is a consumer grade, semi-pro sort of unit is probably the best way to describe it. Footprint, a lot smaller, a lot more portable, only weighs 13 kilos. So what you'll notice is this one is uh, a lot louder than the AR. So the benefit of four pole over your standard inducted style motor is its actual sound. Being that it's obviously not encased in anything, 95 dB is what they've listed it over here. The AR is like low 80s. So we're just gonna do the PSI test, utilizing the one gauge. 
using their 4.4 nozzles that the unit came with. Bear in mind, if we did use their 4.6, you will get lower PSI than what we're gonna get now. So just keep that in mind when we're doing this test. Guys, so as you see on their website, we'll put a snippet or a screenshot of it. They're saying their real time at the nozzle pressure is 1100 PSI. They're only getting 950 PSI, uh, which is different to what they're quoting again. There, we're gonna hit tear. Brings it down to zero. Uh, let's do uh, a flow test. All right guys, so their website, they don't actually say, well, I couldn't find the actual flow itself, but with Active, their model number tends to say what the unit does. So Active 2.0, she'll do two gallons per minute, 2.3, 2.3 gallons per minute. What we actually got, still great flow, 8.2 uh, liters per minute, but if you calculate that and times that by 0 0.264, which will give you gallons, uh, it comes up with 2.16, so actually, lower than what they're quoting. Maybe their 2.3 is their peak or their max flow, which the unit can do. Regardless, good flow. PSI is probably letting it down again. They're the actual numbers that the unit's doing in real time at the nozzle, what you guys are gonna use every day. Guys, finally, we're just gonna do an amp test. Being the build of the unit, we're very confident that this is gonna be under 10 amps, so let's see what it does. All right guys, so uh, just summarizing the performance of the Active 2.3 here in Oz and uh, Europe will be pretty much identical. Our understanding, the actual PSI at the actual nozzles with the nozzles that came with it, which are 4.4, uh, they don't recommend using that. So maybe reach out to them and see why, or maybe they've just muddled it up. If they're using a 4.6, the PSI will actually be even lower. You will increase a bit of the flow but you're not gonna gain much because it's already almost at the max that this unit can do, being uh, that it's already doing 2.16 at the nozzle. Uh, amperage wise, way, way safe, under six, six amps. So uh, if anything, probably underpowered. That's our taking on the active. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. So I hope you guys found this educational, mainly because no one's really doing in Australia the actual real numbers that pressure washers use. Yes, we're obviously a competitor to both of these companies. Uh, take it how you want. We're just giving you the actual numbers that they do. Both performed well, both underperformed to what they state. Uh, our big selling point always as a brand is to quote the actual real life numbers because we know what you guys want. That's what we always put on our website or our actual gift boxes. But overall, uh, I would probably say for 749, you're almost at the price of the Washer Pro full commercial grade pressure washer, 1300 to 1400 PSI, uh, depending, they're all gonna vary slightly a little bit, but let's just hit in the middle, 1350, uh, and we're doing high eights, low nines. We feel that's a perfect combination. It's hard to get that under 10 amps. That's why you'll notice that the AR stating that it does 1550 at 10 amps, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you just can't get that flow and PSI We've been in the game long enough to know. That's why we tested it. Clearly, it's only doing 1100 at the nozzle. So overall, both great units, different price points. One extremely high in price, uh, one in the middle of the sort of price point, but when you're comparing it to commercial pressure washers, it is probably on the expensive side. Overall, uh, hopefully you guys liked uh, the conclusion to this video and the information. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, we'll answer anything and everything that you guys ask. Uh, till next time. See you then.